All right, now the B18C1 GSR intake manifold. Oftentimes, it's just neglected or just discarded because it's not for performance, right? But of course, this is also for drivability and economy. So we'll talk about that and measure each runner so that we can understand what the butterflies do and how you can take advantage of it by tweaking the rest of the setup to match for the application that you plan to do or you prefer. It could be a Tarkar B20 VTEC or a mild B18. See, you're gonna get more ideas here. All right, now here is the GSR B18C1 intake manifold. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to put this on the holder, the phone. All right. Now, wait, let me tilt, move my chair. Sorry. All right. Now we tilt this to show you guys the underside, which is most of the time not seen when it's on the engine bay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Here. Okay. We bolted the, a long Allen bolt just to keep it together to show you guys. So we're going to unbolt the Allen, all right, so we can show you the insides and the butterflies. All right, let's just move this. All right, come on, come on. Okay, there. All right. And then we lift it up to show you guys. Here's the where the vacuum canister is. And so that has to be kept when you're going to keep using the IAB butterflies. And although you can actually tune it for certain RPMs, it's still needed to function. All right. Uh, there. Yes. There. All right. Yeah, the underside, you can actually port it and to clean it so that the entry is good. But we'll talk about that later. All right. Here, you can see... The butterflies are open and the farther runners are the longer runners for the mid range or the low end that good that gives good response for street driving. Here's the long side of the runner you can see from the side. Yep. And then the butterflies are all open. It's a lot shorter. So this way it gives good mid range and low end. But when the butterfly opens, it's supposed to give you a bit of more of top end but of course this is on a b18 so if it's a two liter it might be a lot earlier but we can walk work on that we'll talk about it later all right wait the gasket is still good so we'll keep it for now all right here you can port this area because the butterfly when it opens you can actually port this a bit to give it a sort of like a small step for anti-reversion that that would help either way and of course the long runners are also a, you're able to port it but it's going to be hard to port it through and through because without cutting but cutting this will just you know be a lot more work look at, let's look at the other the side of the head here you can see you can actually clean it up really good all right and now we're going to talk about modifying what, what we can modify and work on here. Oh yeah, and also IAB stands for Intake Air Bypass. Just in case you guys are wondering, because I was wondering before. So now we know, right? Okay, now let's measure the runner lengths. All right, the short one and the long side. All right, so let's go use this hose that I made with the wire so we can measure it. Let's go with the long side first. All right, we put it in. Oh crap. It's kind of hard because it's bent somewhere all right there all right okay all the way in to the edge oh it's exactly this the the whole length whoa all right let's let me show you look when you straighten the hose it's actually exactly the length that's about 10 inches i think all right so let's remove this and use the ruler because I think it's 10 inches. I'm not sure. Let me check. Let's pull it. Oh, come on. There. 
all right okay we use the yellow ruler so that's easily visible to for you guys all right wait where is it where is it oh it's bent it's gonna be hard but okay straighten it a bit oh come on sorry 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 all right here oh it's jumping around jump around jump around okay there there you go it's, it's a little over 10 no, no no actually it's actually exactly 10 inches all right so that's good okay now let's check on the shorter side of the runner on the butterfly side all right there oops okay now we got it put some masking tape just so, so we know the exact length over there all right let's cut the tape all right i put it here because it's pretty much centered to get the length all right there you can see it's exactly on the length right on, on the side of the flange okay so now let's measure this from there okay Oh, you can see it's all it's almost eight inches yep it's around 7.8 inches so it's that's significantly shorter right that in theory honda was hoping that this could serve for more top end but the long side is for the mid-range and torque on the low end and as mentioned earlier you can port this area here right under the butterfly and give it a little bit of a anti-reversion step you know enlarge it a little bit so that this area here has a step going here and that's gonna promote less reversion and it probably would help a bit of improvement on the top end and also on here on the long side you can actually smooth it out all the way until the head flange side just to make it more efficient right okay now we, we can actually do this and you can comment down below if you guys want us to do another video about modifying this and working on it while getting the best performance while keeping the iab function intact for streets now this is a masterpiece done by randy monroe of rmf he ported the insides to make it work for Eric Aguilar and he had an 85 bore 95 stroker B series for drag. So this worked and we can talk about it further if we do a ported video for this GSR manifold. So let us know down below on the comments. Now here's more pictures of Randy Monroe's work. It's amazing. It looks really good. And look at the plenum, the throttle flange for the throttle body is great. Look at here, the plenum man it looks really good right and you can see here eric aguilar's drag car years ago you can see the ram air system right and this is why you can click here or actually we'll have the link in the description below for the reasons why we made this video and the ram air intake it'll just give you an idea of what we we're thinking about or trying to achieve what we can with the induction system and as mentioned earlier we can port this with the attempt or with the intention of keeping the iab functioning good but making it even more efficient and you know when you think about it the when the throttle plate is actually still functioning or the iab functioning well wait it's inverted sorry sorry once this is good you could actually increase plenum volume by adding a spacer up top here which is not going to be a hassle once it's in the engine bay because this is going to be looking under right so you know wait let's gonna try it now wait wait it's on the other side all right we're gonna let me put this plenum side all the way to the manifold and here you can this area you can actually have a spacer made here and you will naturally increase plenum volume and that's going to give even more top end right Wait, so it's going to be good, even though you still have good low end and mid range is going to be really, really strong and actually way better than a stock form. Of course, if you're drag racing or if you're fully set up all motor or even turbo, of course, a skunk 2 intake manifold for the GSR is going to be tons better. Sorry, that was inverted. I thought this was an H22. My bad, guys. Full disclosure, we're not going to cut that out. Did you guys see? We're all normal here. We're all natural. 
All right, we're gonna put the Allen bolt here so you can show we can show you how the manifold will be if we get to port this while keeping the IAB function alive. So you know you can just comment down below if you guys want to see that we can make a video for it. And of course, you can like this video if it's helping. And also, super thanks, just in case you're one of the few GSR manifold users that want to keep the IEB function, we're going to take care of you guys. No matter if just a few of you, we're still going to work on it. Granted, you guys want that, right? All right, so now that's going to show you what we can do with an improved throttle. I mean, if after we get to port this while keeping the IAB function and also the plenum volume, all right? Here we show you guys. We slap on the 70 millimeter throttle that we have here. All right, we get it there. And it's actually, you know, because if the manifold is ported while keeping the IAB function, and if ever you get to increase the plenum volume, this 70 millimeter throttle would help even more. So, hey, when if you're running a B20, but, you know, you want to keep extremely good mid-range and maximum torque, this is definitely an option you'd gladly take because it's going to give you an even better performance and top end while retaining the mid-range and low end of the OEM GSR manifold. Yeah.